All right, uh, I think we're live. All right, cool, cool. So, um, first of all, you want to go to the mod page, obviously, done by Monkey Gigabuster. Show lots of love to him. This is absolutely awesome. So now we're going to try to put our own. So first, you want to download any of these. If you want it to be blue, black, pink, green, whatever color you want, just make sure that you download what you want and that you extract it to somewhere that you're going to remember. For me, I have it extracted over here. So I have this entire little uh, folder set and now we can get to uh, the image creation process and it won't be very long. So first of all, uh, the dimensions that he uses is uh, 4096 by 2048. It is pretty specific. Um, I don't think you can really mess with the uh, dimensions. I personally wouldn't. Uh, I would just go with it. And then now what I'm going to do is let's say I want to add this little let's, let's add this little Jerry picture. Mine's a PNG, so I don't have to do any kind of like cutting or transparency issues here. So I can just add the image here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right, nice. Now we got a little nerd jury. Uh, so at this point, we could literally just uh, save as. And let's save it here as a PNG. And let's name it banner color PNG. All right, now that that's saved, now we have, that is the albedo texture. Now we're going to make it to be transparent because if we just stop here and like you're fine with this, you don't care about the background, you could just have it like that. But uh, I personally want to have it as a background. I want to have little Nerjiri being all cutesy uh, with transparency. So on any kind of uh, way that you can make this super white, this is how we're going to do it. I personally like to use blue or any like massively contrasting color. So I'm going to use blue in this uh, case. And then with the PNG image that I have, I'm going to go to adjustments. And we're just going to crank this bad girl up just like a shit ton. So that that way, this is pretty much pure white. This is the way that I did it. And this is what, what has worked for me. Um, just definitely other ways that you could go about this, but this is what I personally did. Uh, so if you want to follow along, this is the way. So now that I have that, let's save it as a PNG and let's name it banner. Uh, let's name it trans, trans what? Uh, trans rights. All right, cool. So now that we have both the uh, transparency and the main color, now we can go into actually exporting it. So obviously you would need a couple of things first. You would need uh, Fluffy for your mod manager. And of course, uh, Neos or just Neo uh, to pretty much export it to what it needs to be. Obviously there's different methods of doing this, but this is my preferred method. Uh, so once you actually uh, export it, you could actually open it up. And over here we have the environment source. And then now we have all this. Apologies for a little bit of background noise. And then as you can see, I have a little bit of a test here. <laughs> this is the albedo. And then for this, I made it completely white. A little bit of, uh, it's not perfect, but I used it for a test and it worked for me. So now I'm gonna go back to my, uh, where I saved it. Let's go back. So banner color, there we go. A little nerdery. Let us export. And you're going to do a uh, main output type. I'm gonna go to Street Fighter 6 texture and it's probably going to take you somewhere weird uh but let's just go to where i have my retool and it'll be in stage and then you keep going into natives product environment stage resource ess those bunch of numbers and you're going to change only the albedo text albedo diffuse color 
That's basically what it is. I'm going to save it. Don't have to do anything special. For me, uh, what I have to do specifically is remove this patch of numbers with the little dot. It might be different for you. So that I can probably save and export. All right, we're good. Now it's time for the transparency. So yeah, it's completely white. Contrasting color. I did in blue. I think other colors could work too, but it should be fine. And we're going to do the Atos. Atos. It's funny enough how we're doing jury, huh? Talking about toes. Goofy. Be done exporting. All right, cool. All right, now that we finish uh, exporting, you're going to notice that we haven't even touched the streaming files yet. So the streaming files essentially control the higher resolution textures. And since we're pretty much using the same textures uh, for the banner, we could safely just replace these. Now after that, and we have our things and little silly textures all good to go. So let's double check in Neo. Yep, there she is. So it seems like everything is good. So what we're going to do now is click on this, add to archive, and let's make it jury nerd. Now that we have that, let's go back to Fluffy install just uh, by drag dropping and then you're going to scroll down until you see models it's going to be models and it's going to have this preview that's totally fine so modify two paths in game archives guess what those two paths are so now let's launch the game all right now we're finally in game i have selected the training mode and now we're going to give it a look Hey, would you look at that? Looking good. Let's hide this. Nice. So now we have successfully put a custom banner in an already custom mod on top of having transparency. There's a little bit that could have been worked on, like in the little sides of the strands of hair. So it will not be perfect the first time you do it. That's one of the main things you gotta learn from modding and just really anything from general uh, in general. But we got it. And I think this looks really good.